Monster's dream, everything you could eat, wear, or otherwise enjoy while surprise supporting the state's small business. It wasn't all that made in Vermont marketplace. It was everything made in Vermont, and that's where WPT's Renee Wonderlich spent some of her day. She joins us live in the newsroom now. How was it, Renee? Hi, Jennifer. It was a lot of fun. Can I tell you, I was very lucky today. I got to meet dozens of talented craftspeople at this marketplace, and like its name suggested, everything had to be made in Vermont. We know that the name Made in Vermont means a lot. Just love to support local as much as I can. Feels good to be able to see all these Vermont brands and people crafting stuff. You hear a lot of pride at the third annual Made in Vermont Expo. Customers proud to support the state's economy and people proud of their products. I think it's really cool to be in a building with uh, a, a ton of artisanal craftsmen and women from around the state. You hear it from the 80-some exhibits that display their gin, t-shirts, cheese, even marmalade. Award-winning marmalade. All of it made in Vermont. And actually it was a business by accident. A friend came round and saw I had all of these blackberry and apple jams in the, in the larder and decided to sneak a few jars down to our local village store to see if the owner wanted to buy them. And she said yes, and, and the business was started. Vicki Allard started Blake Hill Preserves just a few years ago after she and her husband bought an old farm in Grafton. And I grew up in England making preserves with my mother and grandmother. There are a lot of wild blackberries growing at Blake Hill, so I started making jams again. Allard says they love running their homemade preserves business in Vermont because the state's food industry draws people who are passionate about natural quality. It's sort of almost like a real business. There's people behind it. There's somebody who really cares um, and they're wanting to, to make the very best that's around. And I think that that's what's special about the state and the producers here as a whole. Um, you've really got the personalities behind it and people are really wanting to put out something that's healthy and truly delicious. And it's really cool because everybody's so proud of what they do. was at the event. They estimate over 4,000 people attended the marketplace throughout the weekend. Jennifer? Renee, obviously food was a big ticket item today. Did any of the vendors take into consideration the recent GMO labeling legislation that was recently passed? It's a good question, and in fact, nearly all of the food that at least I saw at the marketplace was promoting some sort of all-natural, organic sort of methods. Uh, the health trend, as we know, is not new to the food industry by any means, nor is it new to many Vermonters, for that matter. But to compete with brands that they say they might be up against, at least in local Vermont supermarkets, many of these small businesses that promote food or a food-like product make it a point to say they are non-GMO. Again, not everybody, but certainly a trend to watch.